Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Shanice, the mother of many, and I have a video, pregnancy update, and a video on a supplement I just got, and I'm going to tell y'all how I like it, and see if it works, um, yeah, I'll be back. So, um, I bought this product, and I'm going to see if it works, you get 30 uses, you get 15 sachets, but um, each tea bag is equivalent of two cups. So, um, yeah, it's the morning sickness tea. And I was even, like reading the reviews. I got out for Amazon. And a lot of the women was like, oh, they got this, they got that in there. I'm like, what? So I got it and I was mad I was going to cancel it. And I'm happy I didn't. I'll show it to y'all better on the other end. But it's on the organic red, I think it's pronounced robust or rubus leaf and organic ginger tea and organic peach flavor. Last time I checked when it's like natural flavors, unless it actually says like peaches or just natural flavors. That's when it's a chemical, but when it said it's a natural peach flavor, that means the flavor comes from the peaches. I gotta look more research into that, but that's at least what I was told. But yeah, even right here, it tell you two cups per one sachet. So let's see what they look like, and then I'm gonna tell y'all. <coughs> smell very. Okay, that first smell almost killed me. Let it smell. Smell good. That's what they look like. Uh, I'm about to go make me a cup. And I'm gonna show you what the cup looks like. <laughs> Once I get the canary, I hear my kids, they doing some work. But I was trying to get in quick video. Let me let y'all see mommy's bump. My little old bumpy bump. My little old bumpy bump. That's what we working with. I'm out of breath because they on the live. They have to do a live for their homeschool. They they that their homeschool program they're going through. So, y'all hold on. I just got set up right. It's, I'm just gonna hold y'all. So, um, I am ten weeks now, but I wanted to give a follow up on the ninth week. Feel the same as I did the ninth week. Um, nauseousness, crazy. This is week 10. I'm supposed to stop feeling nauseousness because I think I'm like going into month three. I clarified on here. And I do feel my baby move. And you can't say I don't because this is not my first baby. This is my eighth. Um, I felt my second. I felt my third. Um, I remember I didn't find out with my second child until I was probably like 11 weeks. And I was just going to school and I wasn't paying attention. So my life was busy. And so when I was going to school, <laughs> my friends was like, mm, you think you might get pregnant? And I'm like, no, I'm talking about beauty school when I was in beauty school. I was like, I shouldn't be. And so I, I was like, man, I saw my sister, I was like, man, listen, I've been sick for about two or three weeks. I'm about to go to the doctor. It didn't dawn on nobody that it was pregnancy. Until I got there and the lady took the pregnancy test in front of me. This is how I know they use Dollar Tree tests. So don't come for people that use Dollar Tree tests. That don't mean you broke. That don't mean you can't afford the kids. You just know the truth. 
And when you use like the five day sooner test, I'm sorry, but that's that's a sad test. The reason why I say it's a sad test is because it can get your hopes high and then drop them down low. I've done it before until I realized that, you know what, let's not buy these no more. And the only reason why I had them not too long ago when I found out I was pregnant is because that's all they had to offer at the store. And that's what my husband gets his hands on. But other than that, when they got the, the 88 cent one back in, they got me the 88 cent. It's 88 cent at Walmart. Okay, so heads up. But um, I could feel him jumping on me on the monitor. And the doctor was like, you feel that? Like the person that was doing the ultrasound, he wasn't a doctor, but the ultrasound technician. And I was like, yeah, I feel that jumping. And so I feel this baby. It feel like I feel too, y'all. And down here, because they don't have them motions no more. Them motions, um, they're packed. I'm gonna call tomorrow to see if they have any dates changed or not. But she supposed to be calling me. So if she ain't call me, that mean ain't nothing let up yet, okay? They got me all the way to September 21st. Y'all, I'll be, it be time to get the end. <laughs> The sex, it be time. Cause she already told me I was gonna get an anatomy scan early and all that just to see because I was getting the blood work test like I did with Ricaria. If you if you're oldie, you know what I'm talking about. Got the blood rates, blood work test. Y'all bear with me, I'm pregnant because I'll be out of breath talking. But I got the blood work test and that um it's how I knew Carly was a girl already. I just waited to the ultrasound. I went and bought my own ultrasound too. Ahead of time. And I already got that confirmed. I think she was about 16 weeks, 17 weeks. Then I went through my doctor and I got it done 18, 19 weeks. And that's why I knew. And they was like, how you knew already? I was like, I actually got the blood work test. So that's actually how I knew. So they give you, a, when you get the blood work test, I remember that, yeah. But I got the blood work test, I got it. Yeah, I got a scan to see if more than one kid was in there. So if you want that, that oh, I forgot what they said, the scan, the test is called. I'll tell y'all when I know. If I don't tell you in this video, I'll tell you in the next video. But um, tonight I'm frying chicken. I already made the macaroni and cheese. I try to do it the crock pot way, y'all. Ghetto, never again. Don't waste it, them noodles. Gotta pump, dump them out when my husband get home. He was like, man. I was like, yeah, but they already got the one that you bake in the oven already done. He was like, oh, okay. So I'm gonna have cornbread that. And my boys, my men in, in this house, they like hearty food. So they like when I'm in chili. They like, and my chili, it depends on what I make with my chili at that time, but I can make it thick, I can make it thin, and I put it over rice. Um, then like when I make pot rolls, they like everything. And I'm talking about beef, I don't do, we don't eat pork in our family no more. We haven't had pork in over five or six years. So, um, but yeah, when I figure out the blood test or whatever what it's called, I will let y'all know. But y'all seen how high my ACG level was? crazy right so if you saw how high my ACG level was it's kind of like a uh, you know indicator that it might be more than one and so when I got the ultrasound at the hospital they're not going to look for multiples okay even if it's multiples on there they're going to let me wait until I go to my doctor and get it clarified from my doctor right because that's just the hospital it's not like they're equipped it to tell me oh you got two in here three in here four in here no <laughs> they're just checking to make sure they at least see one a heartbeat and that the baby's okay they, yeah i remember that they told me you eight weeks on the diet <coughs> i think we didn't get out to about three or four in the morning because we went to mcdonald's and got breakfast y'all i wish i could have recorded it i was crying but it's me and in the hospital that day and my husband was like it's okay to have a heart it's okay but I kept hearing him cry. He was in so much pain. He had um, he had um, stones, kidney stones, and he was touching the front or whatever. 
And I guess them things were so huge, they was killing him. That's why I try, try to make sure I'm drinking the water, lemon, um, electrolytes, get all that in. So, like, even if I have, like, a pop or something, like, it doesn't mess with my kidneys or anything. Well, I never, I used to get bladder infections a long time ago. That was because, I mean, I was a teenager and I didn't care for water like that until I was almost grown. Um, but yeah, so what else I gotta tell you? I showed y'all my belly bump. We getting big. My mama said, Jesus Christ, your stomach is already big. <laughs> and of course, if it's two, I'm gonna be showing quickly. Um, but let me see how I'm feeling. Nauseous, that's why I got that tea. I made my husband made me some ginger tea last night at a regular ginger. I won't be purchasing this again because I I know how to make regular ginger, real ginger tea. So that's what I'll be making at home. Y'all, I'm out of breath because I'm trying to help you get this video done because I got to go find this chicken. Um, my pregnant reflex is coming in. I'm not really getting heartburn. It depends on what I eat. I like to eat spicy shit. And my husband like, whoa, that's different. I think with Ricaria, I had to eat hot sauce on everything. Like every meat, fried chicken, um... Told y'all I had pork a couple of times when I was pregnant with her. And hot sauce was my friend. I had to have hot sauce on my eggs the other day. Hot sauce everywhere. So, but anyway, I'll let y'all know if this bad boy works. And I'll talk to you lovely people later. And I'll keep you posted. There's nothing else I can think right now about me. Like, oh, the only, I think I've already told y'all that, but my doctor told me, like, we're not going to worry about your weight because you're not, um, that's probably why keto wasn't working for me for weight loss because I'm not insulin, insulin resistance at all. I don't have any, my doctor said I only had one little spike when I was pregnant before. And she said, that's not insulin resistance. She was like, it would have to go up higher than that. And I think it only went up to like a hundred. It didn't go up to like no 200 or anything. And uh, she said, we're not gonna worry about it. But she said, when you do come in for your first, my in, <clears throat> my in the office appointment, I will have to take the test and make sure I eat protein. No sugary stuff, none of that. No oatmeal. Come in, have your eggs and sausage and come in. That's it, no bread, none of that. So that's what I'm gonna do. And um, let me see what else I can think of right now. Yeah, I would have y'all on my stand. I think I left it in the car. Cause I remember me and my husband was like having them little outings and, and especially when um, I got my surgery. I think my stand is still in the car. But anyway, yeah, she said scratch your weight off the table. We ain't worried about that. Um, I think the most I'm going to drive today is probably 10 pounds. Um, that's about it. If I get to 290, it'll be okay. But anything like 310, 3, I'm not, I'm not playing with my life, no. And then this time, it depends on how the world is going. I might not be breastfeeding. And my husband doesn't want me to. And he said the most he might want me to do is six months. I mean, six months, six weeks. And he wants me to pump as much as I can in store just in case, you know, the world start acting funny. So that is definitely what we're gonna be doing because we have a deep freezer. And if we have to buy an extra deep freezer, we will. Like a mini one just for my milk, we will. Cause I think, I think it can stay in a freezer maybe for like a year, I think. So if I make enough, you know, for the baby for a year, baby or babies um i will so i mean y'all be with me this time on this journey i'm gonna try to see if he record everything when we deliver like upon that delivery and probably when the baby exiting and when i have my contractions and stuff but other than that not when the doctors are like literally in my or in my face or anything but before y'all just only like seeing the like, aftermath because he had the type because we seasoned parents he had to come back home and got the stuff. We know the drill. We ain't about to load up the whole car and then 
the babies are not coming or a baby isn't coming. So, but anyway, I'm staying fit. I worked out. I'm going to put in a little bit of clip of me working out or see me sweating or whatever. You know I've been working out. I, I was working out, y'all. And I was walking down because, you know, I was taught not to run down the hill, but run up it. And so, because it can actually, like, mess up your knees. So, I'm going walking down. And this man going to say to me, you got to get running. I'm like, if you don't get your leany ass. I was about to, like, I told my husband and he bust out laughing like, what? I said, you see, I'm drenching in sweat. Why would you even say that to me? Like, from top to bottom, I'm drenching. Because my doctor didn't say I can't drench. She want me to run. So, I just got through running when this old man said this to me. And when I say old man, he might have been about 55. Maybe. But I hate them type of people. They don't even be know what they talking about. But I don't like nobody criticizing me. And so, when, especially when it comes to something I know I'm already doing, like, it's none of your business. Anyway. So, the only reason why I even heard him say anything to me is because my kids was playing, like, right there when I was coming down the hill. So, I was watching his ass and making sure I didn't have to do a detour and knock his shit. You know what I mean? So, anyway, I thought, see, I love these people later. Have a blessed day. Peace. So, right now, my doctor told me to keep running. <sighs> Especially if it was something I was doing, you know, before I became pregnant. Oh, when I was pregnant, I mean, 100 percent yet. That's how I look. So, I'm going on 10 weeks on Monday. <sighs> it's my second time running today. Oh, I'm, I ran twice. I mean, I'm gonna try to keep it up before it get cold. And then after that, I'll just do what I do in the house. And that's it, period. <laughs>